Have you ever been scanning the shortwave radio spectrum and come across a powerful signal of a Chinese folk song and wondered what its purpose was? In this video, Radio Oddities takes a look at one of the world's most powerful jamming signals known as the Chinese Fire Drake Jammer. The Fire Drake can be heard up and down the frequencies of shortwave radio and is owned and operated by the Chinese government and its purpose is to block foreign radio broadcasts from millions of Chinese citizens. Let's take a listen. The source of the Fire Drake is a satellite known as ChinaSat 6B, which was launched in July 2007 and is used to carry programming for China National Radio. It has 38 transponders that produce an extremely powerful signal aimed at a network of transmission relays across China, effectively blanketing the entire country's AM broadcasting band with the hour long folk song to prevent Chinese citizens from listening to anything that the Communist Party of China would deem as anti-government propaganda. But who and what is Fire Drake blocking? BBC World Service, Sound of Hope, Radio Free Asia and Voice of America all fall victim to this powerful jamming signal, all of which carry pro-Taiwan and anti-communist broadcasts. The Fire Drake operates on AM modulation between the frequencies of 6 to 18 MHz and many amateur radio operators also fall victim to its broadcasting, as well as other commercial shortwave radio stations who are not transmitting anti-government messages toward the People's Republic of China. Occasionally, programming from China Radio International is also used for jamming instead of the Fire Drake folk song. The French defence electronics company Thales Group were criticised in 2008 after it was found that they had sold broadcasting equipment to the Chinese government, although they insist that the sale of the equipment was for civil purposes. It is suspected that they are being used as part of the Fire Drake network. Such is the strength of the Fire Drake that most international radio broadcasters such as the BBC and Voice of America have actually scaled down their efforts in transmitting to the PRC, frustrated by the strength and effectiveness of the Fire Drake's jamming. Thanks for watching the video and for more interesting information on shortwave radio and number stations please be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to keep you up to date on all the latest content.